Where are you from? Uh, me? Uh, from Italy. Oh, I love our Italians. Tell me, how long it took y'all to build the Vatican? Uh, El Vaticano, around 120 years. <laughs> 120? Took us four years to build the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, four years. And tell me, how long it take y'all to build the Tower of Pisa? Tower of Pisa, around 200 years. <laughs> 200 years? Took us one year and four months to build Empire State Building. All right, all right. How long did it take y'all to build this? Oh, that one uh, very fast. I drove by yesterday. Was not there. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Today, I give you some of the most awesome ammo ever seen on this channel. A brilliant idea that I suspect will also bring great results. A made in Italy brand. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Cododo's 9mm full metal jacket bullets made into 50 caliber slugs for the HDR50 and their little brother, the 6.35mm aka .25 ACP automatic cold pistol bullets. Uh, Cododo is a fairly new Italian brand. Uh, it's been around a little over a year, uh, but has already and obviously made big waves. Uh, many of you guys actually have been suggesting me to try these, uh, asking me to test them, and for very, very good reason. Uh, these things are just awesome. Uh, the maker told me that originally he had made them in a way that the uh, bullet would separate from the casing in flight, uh, but that then he changed his mind after a few te following several testings and, uh, and, and basically attached them so that no longer happens. This ammo is beautiful. A real bullet in a 3D printed plastic casing with a transparent bottom. So Cododo makes all kinds of ammo and accessories uh, like these incredibly scary 68 caliber killer projectiles uh, that I will be shooting in next week's video uh, with this HDS 68. And we'll also see, as suggested by the maker himself, uh, if we front load one of these into my HDR68, if it'll work or not. And of course, with ammo like this, you need a means to carry them. So let's have a look at this ammo holder. Anyway, that is for next week. Back to our 50 caliber bullets. Let's weigh them. Um, as it says on the label, the nine millimeters should weigh a little under six and a half grams. 636. Oops. 635. While the 6.35 millimeters should be over three grams. Well, actually, right under between three and four grams. 368, 366. All right, let's load them up. As suggested, uh, they are loaded. They should be loaded from the back of the drum. And today I'll be using this HDR50, which I had bought. Uh, originally was a TR50, a seven and a half joules TR50. As you know, in the US, for some reason, they call them TR50s instead of HDR50, but it's the same gun. Anyways, this was uh, modified to 11 joules. Basically, I had the uh, restrictor uh, removed when I had bought it. Uh, I then sent it to a shop to have it modified a bit more. Basically, they changed the pin to a shorter pin um they said it was brought up to about 20 joules um one thing is for sure it is not 20 joules it is definitely a bit weaker than that uh one of my viewers recently suggested that it could be the o-ring that is a bit defective 
uh, which would make sense because everything else uh, seems to be just fine. So just keep in mind that my gun is indeed a bit weaker than, uh, than many guns out there. Uh, but anyway, we'll still chrono test it and see how it performs. Wow, well we did not quite reach uh, 20 joules of power, it was around 17 to 16 joules, uh, but it sure put some holes in that can, that's for sure. I'm very angry at myself though to have not put uh, cameras closer to the can to get our usual slow-mos, so we're going to shoot another one, we're going to shoot this one, it's a lot bigger, um, but this time I'm going to put cameras right next to it. <laughs> Well, well, once again, amazing entries. Wow, with some great exits as well. Look at that, exit wounds, entry wounds. Nice, let's move on to the coconut. So I'll be shooting the right one with the 9mm and the left one with the 6.35mm. Well, well, nine millimeter damage versus three point, uh, sorry, 6.35 millimeter damage. I would say they both did pretty well. This little thing is heavy, very cool. And up next, this butternut squash, for those who don't know this fruit, it's a very hard skinned uh, fruit. I'm quite certain we will not uh, penetrate it all the way, uh, but I do wanna see what kind of damage we're gonna do on it with the nine millimeters.
So let's see, what do we have here? The scorching, oh, look at that. Casing got, casing went stuck inside, so the bullet also must be in there. Nowhere to be seen though. All right, guys, let's go in and search for the metal component. All right. So the bullets are well, traveled well inside of the body. Look at that, we have one even all the way back here. So about an inch, an inch and a half maybe. The furthest, that's pretty cool. All right, folks, we are finally down to our last target, our usual mannequin. Um, I'm pretty sure that Kododo is gonna be the one to finally put a nice big hole into our fiberglass dummy. Uh, it might not happen today with our 50 cal uh, bullet ammo, but it's definitely gonna happen next week with our 68 caliber crazy pointy projectiles. Anyway, let's try shooting it today and see what happens. All right, well, I unloaded uh, two magazines of nine millimeters on this guy. Um, let's see on the body. Oh, I think that's, oh, that's one of the, definitely one of the deepest holes ever made. Um, almost penetrated, but did not all the way. Did a little bit of a tracheotomy. And the styrofoam. Again, this is a full styrofoam head. Um, okay, obviously, they all went through like butter. I know also because I heard them bouncing on here. All right, folks, uh, we're not done just yet, but a quick conclusion on these uh, 50 caliber Kododo uh, real bullet slugs. Uh, I'd be happy to think to, see, uh, to hear what you guys think about them. Um, I personally had, first of all, a ton of fun shooting them. I think they're very, very well made. Um, I think they're very, very effective. They are powerful. Um, and let's face it, they're just frankly cool. They're just cool looking, uh, cool to have. I really, really like them and I do suggest them. I do recommend them to you. Uh, I think you will enjoy them as well. Obviously, uh, the, the higher power gun you have, the better it is. I would suggest at least an 11 joules uh, to have you know some proper effect. Um, down below in the description i'll obviously put all the links to where to find these uh, again cododo made in italy all right so before we go guys uh in one of my last videos i where i shot uh sir limpalot's really well made cool 68 caliber badass slugs uh, i forgot to shoot my main target uh stupidly so i'm gonna do that today the coconuts. Again, I will be shooting Sir Limpalot uh, badass slugs. He made two versions, a heavyweight version and a lightweight version. Uh, by the way, if you do want to see how he makes them, uh, he also recently started a YouTube channel where he shows kind of uh, kind of how he makes these. Again, these are among one of the best uh, slugs I've I've, uh, I've ever seen or shot. Um, the, the materials are just are just are just awesome anyway i'll be shooting our usual coconuts and uh, do go check out his videos on how to make them and then we'll call it a day and thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and thank you for clicking that like button if you indeed like the video 
Look at that after destroying these coconuts very very hard dominican coconuts sir limpalot slugs are intact and ready to be reused amazing